Here we go. Okay. A little quiet? Okay. Okay. Which of my ungrateful kin are within you? So let's see. Dude, Movado looks so good. Okay. I do like the idea of like many different souls living within him that have history with these different characters. It's cool. Okay. Restand? Uh, another restand? Kinda? Bone Temple equivalent? Okay, Movado cameo. Um, with punish. Air combo. Movado cameo. These Movado cameo moves look like they're actually in his combos. And oh, I'm assuming that's the grab. Oh my god. You might be many, but I am the one. Okay. But I am the one. What is this thing with Kung Lao? They just really don't like him. What the fuck? Did he push him while he was already knocked down to the ground? Okay. What the fuck? Dude, the soul's inside Ermac. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I want to rewind it, but I won't. I, I really want to go through the Movado cameo moves. Whoa. What? A squishy? Ermac has a squishy? Okay, okay. Air combos. Ooh, that had a lot of range on it. Ooh, Movado! I'm confused. Whose side was he on there? I'm assuming he was on Ermac's side. But it hurt both characters. Oh my god! Bro's a gymnast! Okay, so oh it's like a it's like a trap. I'm assuming it that is. Okay. Uh I'm, there's so much going on here. What is this? This is like the third time he's done it. I oh fatal combo. Movado fatal! Oh my god! The cords! Oh it's like his uh deception fatality. Kinda. Wait, then what is the fatality? Oh, well, no, the fatality would, like, step on their chest. Maybe that's not the fatality. Or, obviously, it's not the fatality, but, I mean, the fatality would be different. Oh, Ermac's fatality. What? What? Oh, okay. Okay, the finish, I was expecting something to do with the soul, but that makes sense, too. Um... I got a comment about a, a meatball, a Shao meatball earlier, and now it makes sense. Movado Fatal! Okay. What's he gonna do? Oh my god, bro, is Levi Ackerman? Bro killed the Beast Titan? I see. Oh my god, what a trailer, chat. That was so sick. Hold on. That was so crazy. Movado is so fine. Very true. He is very fine. Uh, mine Vado? No, 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 Sparky. No, mine Vado. That's the truth. Uh, so cool that the souls are actually visible forms now and not just Ermac using the force. I agree. Like these physical embodiments of different characters. Like that's what I was saying um, before was like I hope that now with Sindel being part of Ermac, maybe they would give him like a Sindel scream or something and they could build upon that over time uh, with like different moves or like within his actual kit of course give him different moves from different various characters that could potentially be within him. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's actually like a really good stylistic choice. Plus, he was doing some crazy maneuvers, chat. Like this is Ermac. Like he's, he's you know, the physical body using the soul powers. Normally he does the slams and all that kind of stuff, like the telekinetic stuff, definitely. But this was crazy. Like he's doing like gymnastics in his basic strings. Like that's the, come on, come on. And I do want to talk about Movado too. We're going to run it back. Levi is crazy. He did he did give me some Attack on Titan vibes with the uh, the fatality, but it's mainly just the chords, of course. Okay, let's go through it one more time, and then we'll go through it like slowly. Okay, let's see. I saw someone say he should have a Jared skin. Yeah, I agree. I I agree. I've said that in my video yesterday as well. I I really do think he should have one. Um. Okay. Movado with the hair in HD too in HD. Oh, I'd like to make a I'd like to make a public announcement. It definitely is not, by the way, chat. Ray William Johnson, uh, like a lot of people are led to believe right now on Twitter.com. Oh, okay. So the whiff punish into this restand. Okay, uh, that's like kind of like Bone Temple. You know, it'll stop them. 
Okay, so, oh my god, I gotta go back and look at all these Movado attacks. We'll just play the whole thing one more time, and then we'll go through it. Um, do skins have to make sense? Not really. You might be many, but I am the one. But I am the one. The Earth Realms champion, like, burn that Kung Lao will never escape is just so tragic. He would never, like, be able to escape that he wasn't champion, and now he also fucked up Shujiko's life. Okay, see, that's really crazy. How many moves does he have, chat? So we have that one he just did with the cord, the thing with the the, 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 the trap, with the temple. Telelift is a stance, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, see, that one is so... I literally was saying this with like uh, with the cords, he could have a move similar to Scorpion's where he takes you out, but instead it seems like he's like bringing you to the opponent just as like an ambush. But I don't really think it's interesting what you could probably do off that. And then that dude, that is so insane, the trap. These different souls inside him make him so much more flashy, man. Like, it gives him so many more, uh, like so much versatility to what he can do on screen, like this. How is this, like, uh, what? Like, the, the whole other body just holding him and shit? Like, come on, very stylish. Okay, so... Yeah, like, this too, the whole army of souls... I guess it's only three, but still. Like, imagine how many souls are being used in that blast afterwards, you know? The Ermac Kamehameha? I'm sure it's a ton. I'm sure it's a lot of souls. And this fatality, I don't know about you guys, but it's really good. I think that with the DLC fatalities like this one and uh, Quan Chi's as well for that matter, they uh, they went very specific and very like, uh, not specific, but like unique to the character. Uh, soul final flash goes hard, exactly. I like the medieval souls, yeah, the medieval vibe that they, they bring is cool. But what's cool about it, uh, I'm gonna say the word cool a million times, it's Ermac, you know, it, it's gonna happen. But uh, the thing that I really like about the idea of the souls is that it doesn't have to fit one vibe. Like, it's not just old people, it's not just assassins, it's not just, like, Adenians or all this kind of shit. Um, I mean, for one thing, we know that there wouldn't be Zaterans there, we know that for sure. There's, like, a loud-ass train, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I have no idea, there's, like, a train going by, of course there is. There's no Zateran souls, as Reptile says in the story, so that's interesting. I don't know, I think this version of Ermac has a lot that they could do with him, though. Oh my god, Movado! Oh my god! Why are you so sassy? Well, well, what are you doing that for? To impress another man? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go through this. Okay, so... Um, off the rip, we have the intro, of course. Uh, Movado doing the thing with the strap. Uh, or not the strap, but the cord. Uh, you know, flinging it over like suspenders or something. And then, um, these are like the different souls here in his intro. Yeah, they do very much so fit in a medieval vibe, which is cool. It works, 100%. Um, but again, I do like the idea that they could express more than just one specific vibe of souls. Like, uh, you know, Sindel, for that matter. You know, exactly. Like, characters like Sindel. Like, that's super unique. She has a very unique ability that uh, could be used in Ermac's moveset now that we know she is canonically within him. And that goes without saying all the other dozens of people that they could just say are within him. Like, hey, did you know this character? Actually, they're dead in this timeline and they're in Ermac. Like, who knows? Could be cool, I think. All right. Yeah, see, that's a cool one. I, literally, like I did in my video yesterday talking about the Madame Bow intro. I could talk about this intro for like three minutes. I'm going to try not to. But it's really cool that uh, we can assume, you know, that there's souls within him that genuinely are like, damn, I got beef with you, Xiao. You know, you, you aren't really living up to the legacy. You're kind of mid. You know, Xiao doesn't really like that very much. So I think it works for an intro. It's like, I'm about to fight you to the death, and I have your granddaddy in my head telling me how much of a bum you are. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, I like it. Uh, his intros have been nothing but hits so far, in my personal opinion. Um, like, I say they're not that exciting, because I do try and look at things objectively. Like, this isn't like a huge reveal. They're not saying like, hey, by the way, uh, like, Onaga is in the story expansion. Like, that would be a crazy drop in an intro. But I think this is just as cool for the lore building and the world building of these characters. I've always thought that. I've always will think that, I think. Karma, you got any ancestors in Ermac? I would hope not, because they would be disappointed as well. Um, interesting to have him fight Xiao and Kung Lao, though. Um, I would have liked to see maybe have something... Well, no, I guess Xiao makes sense. 
Uh, but there could have been like some really cool intro tidbits here with like the royal family characters. Okay, so uh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is this? Um, Ermac coming in with the knees. Okay, so there it is. What does he do? Uh, uh, explain. What was that? Um, I like that Movado fixes his hair before fighting, as he should. You know, he has to stay pretty. I do respect it. I do. Um, you know, he's really, really uh, can I, can I speak tonight? He's very real for that. Okay, so yeah, that does launch. That juggles them, right? That, that sets up for a juggle. Sick. Um, I want to go frame by frame to look at Movado. I really do. I know it's a problem, so I'll do it after. <laughs> You're kind of derpy right there. Yeah, I like this. I already said it in the in the other rewatch, but I do like it. it. It's cool to give him that. Just always give him shit for it. Yeah, okay, so what is this move, chat? Sorry, you know, my video game expertise is not great. Um, if I don't remember a move, I'm not going to remember it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... What is, what is this like similar to? If you guys can give me something that's in the game now. Because this looks like he already knocks him down. Like he's he's knocked. And Movado creates distance. This is like literally... No, I mean Movado. Because this is like the same thing Striker does, right? Like by keeping people safe type shit. But it's like built into his moveset. Like the whole point of this is to give distance between you and the opponent. So they can't like wake up and get you. Like because imagine if uh, Kung Lao... Kung Lao could have done like wake up armored launcher right there, right? And it would have gotten Ermac. If he didn't block, of course. So, like, you know, it's like frost stuff. Pressure one. Yeah, definitely. Actually, that is true. You can use it as a free hit or combo ender, I guess. I have no idea what that means. Can someone tell me what that means? I appreciate you guys for telling me, though. But what does it stand for? It just means on the ground. Um, I just like the idea of being able to create that distance without playing, like, stupid, like... Not stupid. I guess if it's in the game, play it. But you guys know what I mean. Like, the, oh, poke, striker keeps it safe. Boom, keep pressure. Boom, poke, striker keeps it safe. Pressure. Oh my god, it's horrible. So the fact that this is like, okay, we can keep you safe, we can get them out of harm's way, but it's just built into the cameo move for real? Cool. I like it. Nice. Um, on the ground. Okay, got you. Okay, but no, this works. Thank you. Thank you guys for explaining it to me. With, with, without your guys' help with my knowledge, would be nothing. Okay, so what is this? Is it anti-air? Uh... So yeah, Movado boom. Uh... What was this? What is this? Oh, is that... Is that like a... Okay, so this is like a, or not a stance change or whatever, but what was the soul boom? I think the soul boom looked like an anti-air. But yeah, the armor buff thing, yeah, excuse me, well, voice crack, but yeah, that. Um, this is like the, like a buff, a physical, you can see it, armor buff of, of some sort. Um, uh, yeah, buff, I think I, I would assume so as well. Uh, probably a damage buff, right? Um, but uh, I wonder what else they could do, because we've seen, like, uh, remember, that new move Quan Chi just got, that portal, it, it, you know, it's doing more than one thing. So I, I wonder if this buff could be more complex, but we'll see. Of course. That ghost behind Ermac reminded me of Sindel. Yeah, I was going to point out that, but it, that uh, that uh, soul basically gave him the buff. Like, that's what created the buff. That was the animation. Look at this soul, chat. Look at this Iron Maiden-ass shit right here. I like it. I, I do think it's kind of, it's kind of, I like it. Okay, so yeah, uh, Kung Lao tries to go in with the with like the the dive kick. Uh, he anti airs him. So that's a teleport and a half if I've seen one. That is a teleport and a half if I've seen one. He gets out of the air combo chat, gets to the ground, boom. Okay, grabs him. Movado trap. Um, air combo, Movado juggle. Okay, so and then oh my god, this thing, you know, his squishy. Okay, there we go. So. Uh, this juggle, okay. Oh, there he's running away. He doesn't want me to see him. Movado, please don't play hard to get. So right here, this. Look at the cords. Oh my god, what a great shot. What a great shot. Um. Okay, so there. Yeah, he just juggled him. But was that like a move where Ermac couldn't move? No, no, no. Ermac could definitely move there. So, but that combo he did wouldn't have juggled the opponent. Like he would not have been able to go in for another aerial combo. I'm assuming. So Movado, adding the cameo to the combo, of course made it to where he could do this. Uh, or not not really juggle, because he doesn't go into the air again, but I mean just extend it or have an ender added to it, of course. Oh, I love that move so much. You've changed since we first met. We for the okay, so yeah, he's just referencing that because they fought in the story mode, of course. Interesting. Um, Intriguing. Uh, he's to Forrest or Mac. Oh, no, definitely he is. But I'm just trying to think as to why. What do you mean he's different? 
he just saw the mask and was like, damn, you're kind of cool now. I respect it. I, you know, you're with the shits. That's all he's referencing is just that he has a gear piece on. He's like, I do like your MK1 gear piece. Good decision. Um, but no, I I would, I don't know. Of course, the, the lore head in me wants to be like, okay, let's try and understand this. If, uh, if Reptile, right, um, as a character, very sympathetic. He's, he has a very tragic arc in the story mode. I, I assume they want to portray him as a sympathetic person or an emotional person, maybe, even to that extent. Um, and him being with uh, Ashra, of course, who's from the Nether Realm. I don't know. I would like to think that maybe this is just trying to tie into, oh, look, he can like understand people, or he's like aware of people's emotions. Um, but it's probably not that. It's probably just like just saying he's different for the sake of an intro. Um, but just in case that's what they're doing, I'm gonna throw it out there. Definitely, probably not the case though. Now they didn't fight Reptile and Ermac or X's canon. Yeah, the, the cheese may gets deep. You know what I mean? This drama it, it goes on for years. Okay, they have so many arcs in their story. So this is the thing you guys were saying was the trade, right? Uh, oh, 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 I skipped it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, so the, he just does a basic ender there. See, but Movado comes from Ermac's side. Grabs Ermac. It is just a grab though, yeah. It's so sick having a long, uh, like a long one though. You know, close the gap type shit. Oh, that's actually like a such a cool grab animation, like this like crumple. Oh my god. Like could they have been nicer about it? Like what the fuck? <laughs> oh dude, he's so extra sometimes, man. It seems like a good move. Oh, there's that new reptile move. Uh so uh again, bad fighting game knowledge. What are we assuming this is? You can just go invisible for a period of time. Oh look at this! Oh you can actually see it coming out of his body. Pause. You can actually see it coming out of his body though, the, the soul, like the Iron Maiden soul. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so and that has a lot of range on it, very similar to like Ashra's poke. Um, yeah, this is probably my favorite string. Like, I know there's a whole lot of crazy shit in this trailer, but this is probably my favorite. Like, look at this flip he does. He really wanted to show off. He, Reptile was like, you're different. He's like, I'll show you different. I, I will show you different. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh my god. And then the lift up, and then this, like, bro, shaking it for his lunch money. Boom. How about you go in the trap? Boom. Movado trap. Oh, how about a slam? Oh, how about this? Oh, another slam. Oh my god, he's so cool. He's so cool. I, I do like it. I, I think he's awesome. I mean, it's crazy how you know MKX is special whenever a stylish thing happens in Mortal Kombat, and people are like, wow, this reminds me of MKX. Like, for real. And it... it okay, so what is this? Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so just a Movado kick. Uh, can he can he attack? Okay, so I don't think Ermac can attack when he's kicking him, right? Missed the reptile shit, bro. I'm sorry, my brain's going a million miles an hour. But um, this Movado kick is like okay, get distance, right? But you can't probably like do anything during that, right? Like it wouldn't be like Chameleon or Janet, where you can like I can do slide, for example, and then use Janet to cancel my slide to continue a combo. Like, you probably wouldn't be able to do anything with that, I'm assuming. Oh, but Ermac had armor? For a second there? Yeah, he did, no? He spent a bar, okay. Yeah, probably that. Whoop, okay, and then to Movado. Teleport, so yeah, there's Ermac teleport. Whoop, whoop. Okay. This again. Look at the Shao's thing is still on the floor. Like, Shao's axe is still just there, chilling. The cords into the stomp. Movado, can you do this to me? I'm sorry, chat. Um, I don't know where the armor looking thing is. I don't think it's a meter burn because the flash looks different. I've seen people say that it's something new that they're adding. I have seen that as well. I, I saw people talk about push block, which would be crazy. Okay, so this is cool. Let's see this animation. Like I want to fully, you know, soak it in, in its beauty and its greatness. Uh, the Ermac Fatal Blow animation. So he pulls out these three souls. They embody themselves into these medieval knights, you know, straight out of Elden Ring, you know what I mean? I, I, I respect it. And then, oh, bro, no choice. He had no choice. He takes him into it. What are you going to do? And then we get the fatality. Um, that, that little cut is so funny. Like, that cut is so funny. They didn't just, like, let it play the actual fatality. Like, they had to cut two pieces together. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. This is insane. Like, what? The uh, the squish is maybe lackluster. I mean, I personally don't think it is. I think it's good. Like, it's still a good, a great fatal. Uh, I'd give it, I don't know, like 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10. But 
Uh, I think if they did something cool and unique to Ermac at the end there instead, like so, because he's like, I don't know, creating like a pentagram or something. I thought it could have been like a symbol or some shit with the blood, would have been sick as fuck. But then he, uh, like right here, um, like sure, smashing them, that makes a lot of sense. But could you imagine if he like took the soul out of the body instead or something? And then the living pieces of this body just faded and like withered away? I thought that could be pretty cool. I expected something with souls to be in it. But this still works. I mean, he's maneuvering the body. He's doing the telekinetic Ermac shit. I think it still does the job. Movado Fatal replay. Whoa, you get to hear his voice? Say less. Say less, chat. Hold on. This is very important. We have to, we have to bask in this. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on just a moment. Okay, so not much. Not much of a voice line. It's there, though. Dude, this dramatic-ass pull into the Levi Ackerman shit. Ermac's a stud too? No, you're right, Superior Batman. We need a little bit more Ermac appreciation in this house, okay? Here on the Karma 10 broadcast, we don't really pick and choose. Everyone gets some love, okay? So if we're going to talk about how beautiful, how gorgeous that uh, Movado is, we do have to talk about the the beauty of Ermac as well. You know, he, he is a stud. He is a stud. This Ermac design is trash. Um, I mean, I like it. I like it. It's different. It, it is different, but it's the new era. So, I mean, if they're going to try something new, they might as well go full out with it like they did here with um, all these different like souls and this different stylistic approach they gave him. Also, chat, can we talk about this really quick? His stance. Okay. I am so happy that his stance is what it is. Like, could you imagine if we ended up getting the stance from the actual game? Like, that was such a bummy stance, so lame, so plain, so vanilla. Nothing wrong with vanilla, chat. If you like vanilla, it's good. But, sometimes you need a little bit of excitement in your life. And I think that this design, or not design, the, uh, uh, the stance, excuse me, gives that. It's so raw. Like, he is so cool. Um, I gotta, I wanna get, like, a frame of just the standing right here. Uh, dude, it is so good. It is so good. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Look at him! I guess right here they're kind of the same, but it's because Xiao has like a similar stance. But like he's so he's so free will, like just floating, like how Ermac should feel, I think. You know what I mean? I think it's cool. Um uh uh uh, uh this is a top three Ermac, yeah. I think he will get the MK3 skin. I hope so. Untimely Rebel, I hope so. Um now that I think about it, it would have been cool if they went Omni Man route and did a multi-piece gear change for mask and chest. I agree. I think that probably would have been best case scenario, um, just for just for customization wise. You know what I mean? Just for to make him look different in every different version. I think uh, that's what people don't like about gear pieces in this game, opposed to MK11, of course. Like uh, Melina size, for example. I love that I can have different size with Melina, and when they do match and shit, it's really cute. Um, but uh, sometimes and most times, you won't see which size you have on, and won't really matter. Um, some people attribute that to like MK11 being better with like the three gear pieces. I think that's not really the case. It's not that simple. Some gear pieces are ass and some are good. But uh, just in general, I think they gotta go a little harder with the customization in this game and not make everything cost an arm and a leg. Because pallets are cool, but it only will serve its purpose for so long. Ah, that 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 stud is so sick. What is this? What, what are we calling this, this chat? What are we calling this? Uh, the Movado stud trapper. Exactly, Marvelous. You get it, you get it. Uh, Movado ended the whole cameo roster. He did. That is the truest statement. Uh, of uh, of our uh, generation so far, so far. Movado, look at the walk up. Oh, I saw someone say it on Twitter, but he does definitely walk up like a slut. But he owns it. You know, he he does it correctly. There's no there's no wrong way to do it when you're Movado. That's sure. You know that that's for sure. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna put my hand on the space bar. That way I can pause when I need to. Uh uh uh. uh let's see. Okay, so there's the Movado thing. There's that there. We kind of talked about that already. Uh. Okay. Yeah, he gets there too. So that is a juggle. But like, is that like a full-on juggle? Can you do an air combo off that? I mean, yeah, probably, right? I would assume so. But that isn't what he does here? Yeah, no, he, he doesn't do that here. He just ends the combo. What a cool ender. Dude, the floating, like his walking animation is so good. Oh, it's so good. I love this grab animation too. Wow, look at that shit. Can you do that to me? When is it my turn? So here's Movado. We can do frame by frame on this one though. Trust, trust, trust. Oh my god, look at this. This is premium Karma Time content, chat. This is what the broadcast is for. Frame by frame of auto. Oh, there's the kick. That's a that's a big kick. The 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 difference between that one frame is Kung Lao's whole ass legs being retracted. Boom. Look at that shit. Gone. Okay. 
And then we... Oh, look at that HD-ass shot of Movado. No motion blur on him. That's nice. Uh, that's nice, if I say so myself. And then he just kind of skedaddles. He kind of just gets out of here. Actually holds for a while. Damn, look at Kunglao spinning! He's spinning, chat! Damn, look at, look at Ermac charging in. So we have Ermac charging in. We have Movado laying down. We have Kung Lao laying down. This is this is a recipe for disaster. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so there, so I do want to see this frame by frame. I do fear we have to look at this frame by frame chat. So he's smiling, you know, Movado's very happy. As you guys can see, he's very giddy. He's having a good time. And he's coming in and dropping dropping the uh the thing. Let me let me just do this. This would probably be better for what I'm trying to do here. Let me just mute this. And let me just go back like a second. Uh, 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 like 116. Okay, so Movado comes in. Okay, so he has like electricity in his hand. You can even see part of the particles right here. That's sick. Uh, 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 uh. Do you think Movado will be in Aftermath because Serena and Darius was in the first part? Movado is actually referenced in intros saying that he is within Sundo. Uh, Li Mei and Katana have an intro where they say that, so they could have him as like, yeah, Darius, Serena, where they are cameo fighters, but they are still canon to the new era. And I think that's maybe why they didn't give him the Cabal hooks and instead gave him the cords, which is more specific to him and unique to him, um, because maybe they want to use him in the new era. You know, just a chance, you know? You know, mark my words, if it does happen, come back to this video and you could be, or the video version of this, this will be uploaded as a video, but come to the video version of this and say like, you know what, Karma? God damn it, you were right. No, but I'm probably gonna be wrong, but I hope I'm right, I hope so. Okay, so yeah, there he drops this. So what is that? Like, what is it though? Like a bomb? It's like a circle. Oh no, no, it's like, it's like a, I'm not, I'm blanking. I know there's a word I'm trying to find in my head, but you guys see it. It's, it's pretty cool. It has like the little laser at the top. There's like a circle, I'm assuming. And it's like a node, it just lays there. Boom, shocked. So it is a restand too, I'm assuming. Does it have burn damage? That animation was really good. It might not have like a, like damage over time, but if it did, that would be crazy. Like some type of shock damage over time. Um, but yeah. Honestly, we could play the whole thing like this. It's so cool to see it frame by frame, but we probably should it. That would take forever, but it's so cool to see. Um, then there's this, the juggle. He just comes slamming down from the top. See, that's going to be really good cheap mix-ups. Like the cheapest, chat. And especially if you have a character that doesn't have good mix-ups or 50-50s in their base kit, uh, having this extra just overhead like that is, is so sick. Because this is like, I guess you could say similar to the overhead that, you know, Omni-Man and Peacemaker have. Uh, you know, like the complete overhead teleport fly shit. But it's a cameo. Any character can use this. And I think that's very viable, versatile. It's gonna be nice, I think. Theorize about what I want to. Look at him running away. No, no, Lee Movado, no. Okay, there he goes. Uh, I wish we could just see him on screen this whole time. Look at this animation. They cook, dude, all the different hands. And then so he comes in, his little squishy. Boom. Oh my God, bro, bro like Gohan Bojacked him. Full arm through the chest, like fatality, bro, it's over. Kung Lao's already gone. It's over. Like, holy shit. Um, wah. Wah. Okay. The slam down. He has that whole arm extension thing there. I like it. It's cool. Okay, here's Movado coming in. So he's creeping up behind Reptile. He's like, how would I just... Whoop. He's like, I got permission. You know, I am his cameo fighter. I did ask him for permission. Oh, look at that. Uh, like, on his uh, arm there. You can see where it comes from. Like a, like a seatbelt. Okay, so he pulls him in. He's like... How about this? Wow! Okay, they do the little Patara fusion there, you know, but they failed it, so they didn't fuse, I guess. And then Movado's like, I'm out of here. My bad. I'm sorry for the concussion. I'm out. He gives them both. They're, they're concussed, chat. They will never be the same. And Movado walks away while giggling. We need to talk about this. This is, this is, this is an issue. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, it's so cool. His walk animation is so nice. Wait, so when you do micro dashing and dashing with him, uh, me when I Patara without Patara. Me when I try to Patara in real life, it will not work. <laughs> um, uh, when he micro dashes and dashes, right? He will still be floating, I'm assuming, yeah? Does he do it? Yeah, I'm assuming he does it in this trailer, obviously. Let me just say that. I feel like I say shit, he will be like, it's literally in the trailer. Sorry. Okay. My brain is going too fast a mile a minute. Um, so yeah, what is this chat? Oh my god, look at the prismatic rainbow, though. He kind of ate that up. That's kind of cute. I like it. Um, but what is this actually? Look at that rainbow! This is so sick! 
Oh my god, I love that. Dude, rainbows are like, like, are prismatic rainbows especially, like holofoil. God, it gives me so much enjoyment. But what is this move actually? Like, what is this? What would this be? Just, uh, because obviously we see stuff with like smoke going invisible, of course. Uh, or like him covering himself with that green stuff going invisible, of course. Could be a parry or hide. Okay, so it could just be as simple as that. Okay. I wasn't sure if there's like something that we are aware of Reptile having in the past that I was unfamiliar with that this could be. Um, but uh, yeah, that makes sense. Just like a quick hide. Here's a teleport here from Ermac, of course. Boom. Boom. And then this move. Oh, that move is so good. It reminds me of like Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. Shout out Sam Raimi. Wah. Wah. What an amazing string. What a beautiful string. Boom. And then this. So he does use meter there. So so this is a meter burn move. This takes meter to do, I'm assuming. Uh, the little buddy that carries them. Um, and then he hits. He teleports in this string to hit them down into it. Obviously, it's just part of the animation, probably. Okay, but I think that's pretty much it. We'll play Ermax. Uh, Ermax. We'll play Movado's Fatality one more time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, though, for the reaction, the breakdown. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just a, a quick discussion about this. Oh my god, he's so sick. Yeah, I love the stance there. It looks great. That's, that's a great shot. Might even be the thumbnail shot. It looks amazing. But uh, make sure you guys stay safe and stay hydrated. I appreciate you all so, so much for watching. Your support means the world. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.